Last year we all watched on in horror as Thanos snapped his fingers, wiping out half the population and turning them to dust. However, on April 26th, we're hoping that this could all be put right again. But how it happens, we don't know. But there are a ton of theories about how it might all go down. So today on Beyond the Screen, we're going to be counting down the top 10 Dark Avengers movie theories. Let's jump in. Coming in at number 10, it ends with a wedding. Posted on Den of Geek UK, this theory goes that the last scene of Endgame is going to be Tony and Pepper getting hitched. I quote, Steve dies so he isn't there, but the rest of the surviving soups are. Hopefully they don't do that weird Armageddon thing of having a picture of Steve there. I'm into this and it could be very likely that this does go down in Endgame. Firstly, a handful of pictures were leaked that clearly show Gwyneth Paltrow in character wearing an engagement ring. Secondly, Sebastian Stan confirmed that everyone in the MCU came back for one key scene during the shoot. I quote, There was one scene I think we had where everybody was there. I can't really talk about the scene, but I knew it took them three months in planning to have everyone there. You look around and you saw everyone from Samuel L. Jackson to Michael Douglas to Michelle Pfeiffer. Everybody was there. Not only that, but wrapping up the film on a happy ending would be nice, especially after the pain and despair that was Infinity War. Coming in at number nine, Shuri will resurrect Vision. So this theory goes that Shuri made a copy of the Mind Stone just in time. She's going to find Vision's dead corpse and shove that stone back in his forehead, thus bringing him back to life. Now, this one is unlikely, essentially because it wouldn't accomplish much, unless this is just an excuse to bring the Mind Stone back into play. In at number 8, the Mind Stone is the real villain. Thanos isn't truly all bad. Well, hear me out. This theory goes that Thanos is actually under the spell of the Mind Stone, just as Loki was in the first Avengers movie and as Ultron was in Age of Ultron. I quote, My theory is that the Mind Stone is alive, can see the future, and saw its own destruction and set Thanos on the whole quest for the gauntlet and killing off half the universe was just to reverse time and save it from destruction. This theory has a lot of support online but whether it will actually happen is up for debate. It makes sense, that's for sure, but it might be too complex to toss in right at the last moment. And the thought of having to believe that a sentient gemstone was controlling the entire plot of multiple films is a little far-fetched in my opinion. In at number 7, Tony will have to kill his own parents. Yep, this one's dark, really dark. This theory goes that the Soul Stone will ask Tony to sacrifice the one he loves the most, and it's not Pepper Potts, instead forcing him to travel back in time to 1991, find the Winter Soldier and order him to take out his parents. This one seems to be unlikely, but never say never. We know that some of the events of the film will be set in the past, but it's unlikely that they'll travel back that far. Instead, it makes far more sense for Tony to have to sacrifice Cap to the Soul Stone instead. In at number 6, Avengers will master time travel. This theory goes that Avengers will beat Thanos by travelling back in time, possibly to the attack of New York and perhaps even further back to the mid 90s with Captain Marvel. Now this one is possible as Disney CEO Bob Iger has spoken about different realms in Avengers and also suggested that action in the film could play out in locations that, I quote, can be separated geographically or separate in time, not just in place, but in time. As we know a handful of set photos were leaked from Avengers Endgame that show a few of the cast members back in their older costumes which can mean two things. One is a flashback, or two, they travel back in time to alter their futures. Coming in at number five, Thanos will get tricked into the quantum realm. As we know, the Infinity Stones don't work in the quantum realm, hence why Ant-Man was able to survive the snap. So this theory goes that once the Avengers figure this out, they trick Thanos inside, following him in and then beat the crap out of him, leaving him there forever with no escape. Now this one is unlikely to happen, and it is particularly unlikely that the majority of Endgame will be set inside of the microverse. Not only that, but the surviving Avengers would also have to figure out a way to get inside of the quantum realm first, which is a big ask before the final battle. However, one Redditor theorizes that the quantum realm is the most likely way for the dusted heroes to come back to life, pointing to a discussion between Jane Foster and Dr. Aya in Thor The Dark World that introduced the Soul Forge, aka quantum field generator that transfers molecular energy from one place to another. It would make sense that Ant-Man's quantum realm could play an important role in reversing the snap. In at number 4, 
or Tony will have to kill himself. Yeah, more Tony death over here at this number. One theory goes that Cap will try to sacrifice himself to give the Soul Stone what it desires, and to be able to give someone else the chance to fight back using the gauntlet. However, Tony might actually swap places with Cap at the last minute, thus giving the film a big death. Now, this is unlikely considering that we know for a fact Chris Evans is not returning after Endgame. There is still no word on Robert Downey Jr., with many thinking he will make small appearances throughout the MCU following the events of Endgame. In at number 3, Loki has been pretending to be Bruce Banner the entire time. Ok, I love this theory. This one argues that Loki never died, he was actually projecting himself during the Thanos fight, and following his fake death, he was pretending to be Bruce Banner for all of Infinity War, thus explaining why Banner was acting weird for the entire movie and couldn't get his Hulk on. That's also why Heimdall sends him directly to Stranger Sanctum Sanctorium. In at number 2, character positioning determines who will live and die. This theory is a little complex and out there, but if it's true it could change everything. A post by Thinky Sushi describes how an often used cinematography trick can subtly convey positive or negative emotions with the help of lateral motion. Yep, told you it's complex. I quote, The key idea is surprisingly straightforward. If the action on screen moves from left to right, your audience tends to feel positive and senses progression. If it moves from right to left, they feel negative or sense regression. And it doesn't necessarily have to be motion. Character positioning, orientation and even facing can do similar things. They go to explain that this lateral motion trick gives us a great weapon that we can use to interpret various deaths. I quote, Many of the deaths we saw on screen in Infinity War may not stick. I fully expect to get back practically everyone who got snapped away, and maybe even a few of those who fell left. But I think the Russos were doing something else with those scenes. It gave us a language, because if it happens again, if we go back in time, if we get to try it again and Loki falls left, we will know he is lost. Honestly, I'm not so sure about this one, but it's interesting nonetheless. And lastly, in at number one, Captain America will die. Devastating, I know, but this is very likely going to be the case, with the Soul Stone demanding a sacrificial victim, and that victim being Captain America. This will likely come to fruition with Steve choosing death in order to save a fellow hero, with fans putting their money on Tony Stark, so that he can wield the Infinity Gauntlet and defeat Thanos. The likelihood of this happening is probably 99%, with Chris Evans confirming that he is done with the MCU and acting in general. His contract is up after Avengers Endgame, with this pointing towards a permanent exit for the actor. And what better way to give him a grand exit than have him sacrifice himself for the greater good? It's beautiful. Well, there we have it. What did you guys think of these series? Were there any that we missed? Give us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another Beyond the Screen vid. Until next time, see you later. Oh, <laughs>